The Three Little Super Pigs, Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. They dreamed of becoming superheroes. In fact, they were so obsessed that their family house became cluttered with all of their superhero collections. So one day, Mother Pig told her three little superheroes, it's time to find their own home, and she waved goodbye. They walked for hours crossing dangerous rivers and climbing steep cliffs until they finally arrived at their final destination, Fairyland. After an exhausting trip, the piglets decide to set up a camp for the night and build their new homes in the morning. While we're toasting marshmallows in their superhero costume, the pigs met a new friend, Little Red Riding Hood. She warned them about the big bad wolf who'd been terrorizing Fairyland. The wolf had kidnapped Mary's little lamb and stolen the sheep's clothing. <gasps> he even disguised himself as different grandmas and stole their clothing. The pigs were warned to be on their guard. <gasps> oh no, he sounds horrible. The next morning, Two of the pigs were desperate to play superhero with their new friends, so they built their house as quickly as possible. The first pig chose straw to build his house, and he gathered all he could find. The second little pig chose to build his house out of sticks, and he collected them from high and low. And in no time, all of their new homes were ready. While his two brothers are having fun, the third little pig was patient, building his house out of bricks. He wanted to make sure it was strong and sturdy, so he worked very hard. Finally, all three houses were ready, and the pigs were very happy in their new homes. Suddenly, the first little pig was startled by a terrible growl outside his window. It was the big bad wolf! Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he cried. Uh-oh. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, squealed the panicked pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, growled the wolf. And whoosh! And with one puff, he blew the house in. <gasps> oh! The first little pig ran for cover in his brother's house of sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me in, bellowed the wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, cried the pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and whoosh. He blew the stick house in. Dodging the flying sticks and the flying debris, the two little pigs ran as quickly as they could to their brother's house of bricks, nearly escaping the nasty wolf who was getting very, very angry and very hungry. Oh. Three little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, demanded the wolf. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, the pig replied. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, screamed the wolf. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, but the brick house would not blow in. The wolf was furious. Suddenly the pigs were startled by a loud clinging noise from outside, and the cunning big bad wolf had made another plan to climb onto the wolf and sneak down the chimney. Just like Santa Claus. Oh no. Two of the pigs started to panic, but the third little pig had a super plan. He had been holding it, he'd been boiling a pan of water on the fire all along. Oh, look, it's fire. Uh-oh. So as the wolf came, hurtling down the chimney, he fell to the bottom and first into a bubbling hot pan. Ow! With a piercing streak, he jumped out of the water and straight into the pig's net. And the big bad wolf was defeated. The pigs waved goodbye to the silly old wolf as he was charted, carted off to prison. 
with Fairyland safe at last. The pigs' dreams of becoming real superheroes had finally come true as the whole town cheered their special new name. Hooray for the three little super pigs. That end.